So this is uh, Justin J YTZ. I just thought to give another demonstration of uh, live transmissions from the um, little uh, Minimal 3 transmitter. It, the transmitter, if you might remember from the other YouTube video a few weeks ago, is uh, based on SR Systems boards, the Minimod 3 and the um, MPEG-2 coder I've got in there and, and the um, uh, mini key for uh, setting it up. Um, so that, that's uh, the output on a, a TV in the living room and uh, some pictures of uh, Disney there a few years ago uh, last time we went uh, uh, coming off a camcorder so as a replay so um, yeah that's the picture being displayed you can see all the information up there it's 2 mega symbol per second DVS MPEG-2 just displayed on uh, the um, satellite receiver There's the satellite receiver the brakes by the way different different scenes it's not a fault um, the satellite receiver is actually a quite a nice uh, well, I'm quite pleased with it it's a Doctor HD and um, you can see the front panel there and uh, just behind there you'll just see the little antenna that's uh, being used to uh, receive the signals. Uh, we're actually transmitting uh, 23 SEMs, probably at about 5 watts at the minute, uh, something around there, into the uh, main antennas on the house. It's actually going to uh, create log periodic as I speak. Um, if I just swing around here, there's another little uh, thing I want to show you. This is a fantastic bit of software. What we've got here is a, a, just an antenna up there on top of the stove. Um, it's a real lash up this. Um, in a true amateur sense. Um, so on top of the uh, wood burning stove there's uh, the PC underneath there. And uh, what that's showing is SDR Sharp which is um, a fantastic little uh, spectrum analyzer application. It's a software defined receiver actually. You can receive anything you throw it on it and demodulate uh, AM, FM, CW, upper and lower sideband and uh, double sideband and obviously wide FM as well as it comes uh, free, free software but obviously a donation is a good idea I always think someone's spent a lot of time uh, developing it and uh, the receiver is nothing more than a, 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 um, uh, a USB dongle there it is it's a, a typical uh, I think it's called a RK282 or something like that it's um, just a regular £17 off eBay um, actually Amazon I think this one came from uh, uh, Digital TV dongle you can buy for the laptop, sort of thing you buy in Maplin. Um, it's an RK282 or 232, I can't remember off the top of my head, my brain's gone. And, and there it is, so you can see the spectrum of the uh, transmission just being received on that little uh, mag mount antenna that comes with the uh, DVB, um, uh, uh, or, or the, it's a DVB-T uh, receiver actually, uh, it's a software defined receiver. So that's that bit. I'll just walk uh, you through quickly into the shack. So, uh, quick view of the uh, hall and everything as it goes through. Wires trailing everywhere, and um, there, there's the um, uh, th there's the actual transmitter. Uh, you, you've seen this before, but that's uh, transmitting on twelve forty nine megahertz um, in the amateur band. Um, now this uh, is a PE one RKI eighteen watt um, transmitter. Uh, oh, sorry, amplifier module uses the Mitsubishi module, if I remember right. And running off 12 volts, so I'm putting about uh, 5 10 milliwatts in there. And output, I've got probably got about 5 watts or so uh, average, maybe there's 4 or 5 watts, something in that order. It's actually designed to drive uh, a 150 watt amplifier, which I've also got. I just haven't got a power supply for it, I haven't got a 28 volt power supply, but we'll get that sorted up in, sorted in the next few weeks. But the amp's working beautifully, nice pure spectrum, very linear, absolutely perfect for a DVBS. So, uh, but uh, if you're seeing this, Really pleased with it. Bit of a lash up, I'm afraid. Uh, there's no heatsink on the amp yet, so I've just got it resting on this uh, heatsink. It's getting warmish, and a lump of solder <laughs> to uh, keep it uh, in thermal contact. What's underneath? But it's all running quite cool, so I'm quite uh, quite happy with that. And fed off a linear power supply. And there's the video source. That's uh, uh, an IP7 Sony camcorder. It's actually MPEG2, believe it or not. But I'm taking just regular video out of it and into the back of the. Um, uh, uh, transmitter, just uh, no normal um, uh, 0.7 volt uh, uh, video and uh, left and right audio there. Quick glance at the rest of the shack over there, the FT950, fantastic transceiver that, and uh, the old Nikon Icom uh, 910, which uh, 
I've got triple bands in that. And here's the 70 cms amp. So anyway, that's the setup. Uh, just a little recap there. And I um, uh, hope that's of interest. Uh, if you need to e email me, it's uh, g8ytz at btinternet.com. It's g8ytz at btinternet.com. BT Internet being one word. All the best. Bye for now.